here it is the ESP12 E based IO board which I have developed and uh, as I told you earlier that uh, this uh, module is having Wi-Fi capabilities and as well as it is having a good microcontroller within it and now I'm going to upload its firmware with a latest firmware and thereafter I'll try to upload a scratch on this ESP12e module and uh, it's a ESP8266 based module and let's see how it all stuff works with the Arduino IDE here it is a uh, website is electrodragon.com and uh, it is very useful website and having lot of information about ESP8266 and uh, having useful tools you can use with and here on home page you can see how we are to use this ESP8266 and uh, for working mode how we can make the pins pull up or pull down and to flash also to upload the firmware how we can make it spin pull up or pull down and thereafter uh, some AT commands are also there we can try with and here in this section the documents are been given so we are going to upload the firmware new firmware so we can go with this link and thereafter we can see the firmware flasher uh, software small piece of software is available and the new firmware version is also available over there so we can see the firmware flasher and here it is there the flasher tool link is given and we can download the flasher tool over there and uh, for, for windows and uh, linux and uh, other operating system also uh, it is available and if we go there then this link will send us to a uh, google drive location where the flasher is available and we can download this flasher from there and thereafter we can use it and the bin file new new uh, firmware version we, we can also be able to download from there and some resources and data is also available over there so by using this website we can further uh, look into this website and uh, we can get a lot of information like uh, some useful tools are available at uh, github also so we can go through this uh, website and uh, get the useful software package and pieces and here you can see ESP8266 Arduino and this section also we can get the information how we can get our Arduino ID connected with this ESP module and now I'm going to upload the new firmware here it is the firmware flasher tool which I've downloaded from this website that is electrodragon.com and I also downloaded the new, new firmware and now I'm going to execute this uh, application and here it is the application and now I'm going to upload the new firmware in my ESP 12e module and for that uh, I'm to locate the firmware file and here in my case it is there 
and its version is v9.5.2 80 firmware pin and here it is I have located the firmware file and I am to choose the correct serial port and that is COM8 for my, uh, for my, uh, my case and the baud rate is 115200 and to upload the firmware we have to press the flash key and and also I'm um, just going to press the restart so now I have hold on the key and I'm going to start flashing here you can see uh, started started uh, the new firmware it will take a bit time it is 20% complete 24% you can see over there and uh, the progress is also shown over there that uh, the firmware is uploading and here you can see other uh, options we have to select and the offset where we, we are to start that is 000 and you can see it's 89% 90-92% complete and uh, here it is done completed and you can see comb closed message is there and here it is finish so the firmware is being uploaded in my ESP12E module and now I'm going to upload a small piece of uh, scratch from my uh, Arduino IDE and let's see how this ESP12E works with the Arduino IDE here it is the procedure how we can make our Arduino IDE compatible with the ESP8266 module and uh, to make it done the procedure is given over there we have to install the Arduino 1.6.5 or latest IDE and thereafter in preferences we have to place this small string so let's see this step how works uh, here it is Arduino uh, IDE I uh, have downloaded and uh, the version of this Arduino IDE is uh, 1.6.6 here it is the Arduino IDE I have, I have already installed over there in my computer and that is uh, version is 1.6.6 .6 and as per the procedure we have to go to file and then preferences and in this preferences over there you can see uh, additional board manager URL we have to place the string which is given over there this information is also available uh, on the website ElectroDragon and uh, now we have placed this string over there in the board manager URL and thereafter we have to go to the tools and in tools we have to go to boards and here you can see the board manager we have to go over there and a different type of board configured with this IDE is available over there and over there you can see ESP8266 board but uh, I have already installed if you not installed already then uh, you have to install uh, you have to click over there to install and it will be installed it, it takes time because it is about 140 MB so when this process completes then uh, you will be able to see the boards over there in downside 
this section will appear after completion of the installation and the uh, different type of ESP8266 based board will be there and you can see Node MCU ESP12 module or Node MCU1 ESP12 E based module or uh, generic ESP8266 module etc. So this is the procedure how we can get configured uh, ESP8266 base board with our Arduino IDE so uh, I have done this work and now now I'm going to make a small sketch and I'll try to upload with my ESP12 e module here it is the small sketch I'm going to upload with my ESP12 e module and you can see uh, I have connected this uh, LED with uh, GPIO 16 with my uh, ESP8266 module and uh, this LED is connected with GPIO 16 and here you can see I have set the pin mode of uh, pin 16 and thereafter I am going to making it up and down to blink the LED and starting you can see this LED is glowing so uh, it is there that this pin 16 is already up and uh, it is having 3.3 uh, volt just now so it is up now to upload this sketch we have to go to the tools and we have to select the generic ESP8266 module and thereafter we have to choose the speed and uh, correct serial port and uh, port speed and then simply we have to burn the scratch on our ESP 12V based IO board so the process is going on and you can see the scratch is compiling and it takes a bit more time than the normal and uh, here it is uploading and uh, here some error is there and it is failed synchronization is failed I am going to give a reset to my board and I am going to try it once again so let's see and uh, still error is there as I was facing the fault during the uploading of uh, this small scratch to my ESP 12e now I found a solution for that and the solution is that uh, I'm to keep this reset and the flash button hold down and uh, then I'll just press this upload button and when the upload appear over there then I'll release these two switches first I'll release reset and then I'll release flash and uh, here you can see the scratch is uploading and this line indicating that the process is going on and here it is you can see uploading is written over there and the scratch is uploading to my ESP 12e board and here you can see done uploading is there and you can also see this LED start blinking so this work is complete nicely and uh, here it is my ESP 12e IO board you can make your own thanks for watching